Before I start the video, I'd like to say thanks to Pack of Japan and Manda Design Works. The video, the device that using in this video, for example, the Pack of IPC C6920, is borrowed from Pack of Japan, and the Siemens Geo Drive S210 is borrowed from Manda Design Works. I really want to say thanks to you because of your support. I can make more videos and tutorials to share our information. Thanks. Hey, nice to see you again. I'm Breeze. In this video, I will show you how to uh, configure a Provident network between our pack of IPC and Siemens S7 and 1200 by using iDevice function. It is a very powerful function in uh, Provident Nuts. In the last tutorial, I show you how to configure a shared device by then we can use a uh, couple of controllers to access both servers, right? But this i device we can let a controller at the same time to beat device to let other Provident IO controller to access it to access it as a IO device. It is a very useful function. I use it so many times. I hope you might like my videos. Let's start. Okay, now it's the time to configure our Siemens controller as a I device and then to make the communication to the train cat. First of all, I open my TIA portal. This is a continuous last part with a shared device with S210 and and script a both safe connections. So, the first of all, if we need to configure a I device in our project, the first one we need to go to the device completions in this wheel you can see is s7 1200 and you can make the in a setting ip setting and security setting of of this stuff in here go to uh, properties and click the controller oh need to go to offline first the first one we need to enable the IO device functions. So how to do it? You need to go to the Bovina interface X1 and then browse it and go to the X uh, operation mode and check the IO device. Now you can see below here you have FAI device communication fields. In the transfer area you can configure different couples of transfer area to couple device but in this case we only have our backup chain cut controller so we don't need to create too much just go click the add new add new and you now uh, I create two fields in here just transfer area one transfer area two and for directions for the right side it is a input for the left side if I click the left side it should be a output okay and then we can rename our transfer area, for example, train cat in train cat in uh, from train cat. And here is to train cat. Done. And then here we can divide, define the uh, address, the address offset in our i device. I will define 300 here, and also Q is 300 and 20 bytes 20 bytes so in our completion now we will have a from trinket from trinket transfer area that is addressed from 1 300 to 319 with 20 bytes and also a transfer area that to trinket from 300 to 319 is the output area is also 20 bytes done just save it and before we jump to the next part, I would like to show you some settings that you also need to do if your uh, Provinac partner, controller partner, is not Siemens. The first one is the um, here, po uh, protection and security, go to connection uh, mechanisms, make sure this checkbox is not checked. And the first, the second one is uh, go to Provinac and Ethernet address and choose IP is set directly at the device so what's the mean now it means that the device that um, is directly set inside the device that not set in the project as you know as you know that the Provinet control the Provinet controller will depends on your device name and then assign the IP address to each device so 
I think there's some magic stuff inside the Siemens PLC between BC and Siemens PLC but if you set directly use these options while trying to get controller would like to assign the IP address it depends on the device name the S2-1200 will refuse it so just don't forget to choose IP address is set directly at the device and the second one is the device name now for default is the it generate automatically if you don't want you just uncheck the checkbox and then to choose your enter your your device name okay but i'll choose let it uh, be default done then the second one we need to we can uh, define the tax that for some the tax that to change exchange the data between trinket and our siemens pcbu but before that i would like to define a data type first go to psd data types at new data type and the enter your data type name between cat exchange just up to you yes okay and here remember we have defined a 20 bytes in here so just go to array define at array choose byte and here is 19 okay now in here is 90 bytes we can use device uh, change name to data and then compile it done no error and go to the plc tags and uh, go after the tag tag tables and go to here you can define define two variables for input and output for the first one is input right so i data and o data and and here is a percent percent i 300.0 is input right so and the last next one the percent q 300.0 is output and in the data types just use the data type we define in the next, last step and copy it so now data automatically defined 90 uh 20 bytes very good very convenient now we can save that project and compile it finally we can export the JSTM file of our uh, S2 1200 I think uh, now with the part 4 or 5 videos I know I think you know that if you need to configure a profile network it is the ML file is necessary and need to import to your profile controller go to here uh, go to the click the S7 1200 and go to operation mode and uh, I device combinations and just slow down, slow down, slow down. Then there's an option called export generic system description file GSD. Just export it, choose export, done. And then finally, what we can do, what you can just go to download our project, let's search our CPU, okay, load. Just wait a second, it's just start loading and load the project inside your CPU. And start our CPU. Okay, let me see what's the status now. Okay, now it's in. Uh, now I think it is in uh, run. Okay, save it. And go offline. So, what's our next step? Our next step is to go to Trinket side to convey the Proving Network also. Open here is the Trinket project that in our last step. So, what we do in here, go slow down and go to IO and device. And the and this is our Proving our Net IO controller. Right click, add new items. And go here to choose Proving Net IO device and click it and choose the gstml file that you export in last step now you can see that uh, siemens s7100 is export is import in our string project and we explore it go to api then we can see there is a from trinket from trinket area and to trinket area that we define in the ti project actually we don't need to change everything in here all we need to change is just change the ip address and the device name if we need just click the uh, PLC, our 
S7 1200 and go to device mm, I don't know sometimes why PCS is a bit slow mm. just me a second mm. bum, 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 bum. okay so right here what you need to do is just with the config the IP address in here so I choose 51 and uh, actually we also need to convert the device name we need to match this 1200 as you see in the project of Siemens Siemens ATI prototype we convert the C, uh, provide the S7200 1200 the device name is PLC underscore 1 right I think you see here but if you convert the name to BLC XB1 D O E D, this is because there's some rule that you convert this, for example, this uh, under underscore or some special characters, they automatically convert to other formats. So not need to take care too much. You just make sure that the PLC XB1 D O E D is 100% match to your trinket project. It match. So what we do is save it. And then we can map the data. Then I create a GV, GVL underscore Siemens before in here. And it's the input or output process image of 20 bytes. So what we need to do is go to subterm 8 from Trinket. Select the output and select this item. Right click, change the name. And then the main link the process of, of image. Just the same thing as input right click done so data is map good we can save it and then download our project it will take some time i think it take one or two seconds do you want to reset your system in run mode yes true okay let me go to uh the s side go to online and uh, go to online dynamics go to dynamic buffers now see if the error is called io device official boom ah you see now the picture the, it was fixed right now you see there's no error in here and we can check in the trinket side also how to check it as i mentioned in the last tutorial you can check by the um go to this your popular device and go to input you can check by these two variables click it go online you can see now the value is zero it means no error and go to pnio die die you can see now the value is two what the value been two is mean iocar is scripted it means the communication is scripted and without any error so done just uh okay so we can log in log into our trinket project and let's go to run mode okay first we can check the data is really transferred from our train cap our pack of train cap plc to siemens go to gvl underscore siemens and go to l then we can configure some value in here for some one two three four five six oh sorry it's over four right nine nine and then one two three just a right click and the uh, browser right here. it's not coxis go to here write all value done so go back to here and uh, go to program blocks and ob1 but it's not easy to see each byte right we can go to the uh, default tag tables monitor all good i datas datas I think you more yeah sure you see now the right what six four six b seven three one two three i think you can change the format to other slide right i think why why you cannot change the display format in here why here no oh anyway if there's some guy know how to change the display format in here please comment and tell me this is very helpful for me and you see the 7B6301123 is just the value of trinket. I think here we can change, right? Yeah, this paid haptics. Yeah, done. 6B73123. Okay. 
And then next time we can also check the input of uh, the chain cat side. Good. Okay. How do it? Can I can we direct the chain data in here? Okay. No. Okay. Let's make some simple program. Okay. Move. Move. Uh, I think move is not good, right? Move is not good. I think we can use INC. INC is better. INC is a plus one, right? And in in data. Ah, oh my god, this cannot use it by format. You need to change it. You need to change the data first. Okay. Uh, by. Can we use by two? No? Okay. Okay, so give up. Okay, so uh, it's not very important in here. Go to move some value in here. And add. Add. For example, data. Old data. O data zero, O data, dog data zero, dog data zero, and then uh, plus one, and then go back to one, and then here is to one more things, here is a DC, it decreased by one, and then use the second one. Right? Why? Oh, it cannot. Okay. You need to change the data type, but it's not a little bit uh, here. So just use the sub sub the second one, and then one, and then go with the second one. Okay, and then finally we can turn on a bit to see is really. Just go to uh, use this one assignment, and then go to place it here. And then choose two, two in here, dog percent x, uh, maybe five. And uh, here's two, the no exciting thing. So we get down the pro the program here. And then load it again. Okay, and then go to monitor. Now you see the first, this one is pressing and this one is de de decreasing. And now the here data is turning on. When go to trink aside, you can see the data is exactly the same, right? So the data is also exchanged. You can see the input data from trink, uh, data that is received from from the Siemens S7 1200. Okay, so this video is very short. I hope you can know how to config a I device by uh, I device to communicate between backup Trinket PLC and Siemens PLC. This is all same as uh, S7 300 and 1200, 1500. Also, the same theory, but just a little bit step different. Okay, here's my part four of my project Siemens and uh, backup Trinket S200. 20, uh, uh, sorry, my backup PLC and Siemens Drive project part 4. I would like to see you next time. If you like my video, please click the like button and subscribe my channel. See you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.